Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got China Glaze Good as Marigold, and I'm going to do some advanced stamping. I'll be using this Maniology MXM006 plate. It's brand new. It's never been used, so we've got to pull the blue film off and clean it with some acetone. I always like to wipe it with a paper towel, and I'll be using Braves Diva on the black for my stamping polish today as well as a multitude of stampers. I'm going to break five random different ones out here. And I'll be using my Beauty Scraper. I knew when I saw this plate that I was going to be doing this kind of manicure with it. So that's why it's been sitting on the desk waiting for me to have time. Because advanced, advanced stamping does take time. These images are picking up really well, and I'm just going to pull five different images off of the plate. There's just so many to choose from. It was really hard to just pick five. Kind of made me wish I'd done this manicure on all ten nails so that I could have used more images. But that's all good. It's still going to be in my collection. We can revisit it again. I'm just having a blast right here, let me just tell you. I'm loving this. Playtime! All these beautiful bird images with the florals. I'll be using Mercury Baseline, Go Be You, as well as Empire Club, Candy Spirit, and finally Trace Trance Land by Bundle Monster slash Maniology to fill these images in. And I'm just using an old nail art brush. It came in a pack off of eBay like five years ago and I just pulled one out kind of a skinny little one you could do this with a dotting tool toothpick whatever your heart desires whatever works for you so I'm gonna use the green to fill in like leafy looking things and some of it's got some fine lines so it's a little hard to see so I'm trying to move it around to where I can see what I'm doing and you, with clear stampers, you can flip them over and check it out, and you can keep adding to it or stop, whatever you decide. And when I do advanced stamping, I'm not always like obsessed with making sure that I'm staying within the lines. I try to, but it's you know it doesn't always work out that way. Now this video is going to be rather long because I have left in me filling in all of the decals. <laughs> I, you know, <clears throat> if they were all going to be the same image, I would have just shown y'all one or two and then moved on. But since they're all different images, I thought I'd just give them all a little bit of FaceTime today. And it's just fun. I hope it's fun for y'all to watch. <laughs> You'll have to let me know. And normally I don't use stamping polishes to fill in my images, but I looked over at my shelf and I saw all these bright colors jumping off the shelf at me. And I just decided instead of using acrylic paints or nail polishes, I would just go ahead and use those stamping polishes. They dried really fast, so, you know, I was really surprised by that. Really, really pleased with these and how they turned out. There we go, flipping it over, checking it out. How's it looking? And now we're going to go in with some yellow. And I've got some crazy colors on some of my birds. But, you know, in nature you do see a lot of wild colors, especially with birds. So this image especially spoke to me. It kind of looks like it's wrapping around. I can't wait to share it on my nails. This manicure rocked, though. I really, really loved wearing this one. It looked like like one of those like floral print dresses or gowns or moo-moos or something. I just was so into it. Just really getting into it. And now we're going to use that purple, purpley blue blurple color to fill in some flowers. I do have a bird that color somewhere in this mani. At least one, maybe two. I don't know. I just went crazy with it. I just wanted all those colors on all my nails. And here we go. We're going to hop on into the next image. There we go. I knew we were going to get one of them blurple birds. 
I love doing reverse stamping and it does take time but it's it, to me it's so worth it the payoff is so worth it you know some of that you know you get what you put in kind of thing you spend a little time making these little decals and while they're drying you go paint your nails your base color and get them all nice and dry so you can you know apply these right on top of it and it's just magical I love it this is the image I'm, oh, I'm so excited about that one that's probably my favorite one I don't know to be honest I loved all of them oh, I'm having so much fun <laughs> Tina's in her sandbox playing with her nail polish. So I did go back in and tap one up because I, I was like, oh, that one's missing a color. And then now I'm going to hit this one up. I wanted to make sure, and I didn't get to do it on all of the decals because a couple of them were smaller images, but I wanted to try to get all of the colors on there. And actually here on this one, you can see I've actually blended colors because I didn't wipe my brush off very well. But, you know, it happens and it's okay. Still looks very pretty. I'm sorry, I'm almost out of frame on that one. You just keep going around and filling in your... And you don't have to do all of the nails. You could just do one of these and do an accent nail with it and that would look beautiful but I'm a junkie so I always take it way overboard it's just you know it's a, it's a personal thing love love these little birds so now those are drying and I'm gonna go ahead and use this China glaze good as marigold and look at this oh my gosh okay now I have a confession I'm on a hard no buy we've got some house projects going on and are in the works and things we have to do so we are we are no longer no longer getting you know adult allowance allowance so um but i had to have this one i saw this on uh unapologetically laura and i had to have this one and so i i did i cheated and i went and bought one polish look at it though oh my gosh I am using two coats of that and then I'm topping it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. I'm going to seal it all in and get it to dry down so we can apply our reverse stamp images. I've done so good on my no buy, y'all. I'm, I'm just so proud. So I've applied some of that super dry to my nails just so that they're a little tacky and help these transfer over really well. And you can see one of my leaves didn't transfer up in the corner, so I'm going to go back in. And since I've got that sticky base down, tacky, it's sticking pretty well. So I'm going to real quick plop these all on my nails. I did do a couple of extra little images. I didn't show y'all me pulling them up from the stamping plate, but, you know, I decided to go ahead and do all of the nails. Tap, tap, loving it. So I want to thank unapologetically Laura for turning me onto this beautiful polish. I love it. I've got a lot of oranges in my collection, but this one's really unusual. My swatch photo didn't even show it really well. It actually looks better on camera right now. It's more of like a sweet potato color or yam color. It's so gorgeous. So there we've got them all on. Now for some cleanup, I'm going to use a cuticle tool, and I know it looks like I'm just daggering my little nails there, but I'm not. I'm being very careful and using the kind of sharp edge to, you know, cut off any excess of this decal that I have made. Oh, I'm just so excited about this one. All right, now we're going to tap, tap, tap the end with some acetone. I am going to get in frame here in just a second. And then we'll run around the whole edge of my nail, clean up any mess. And it also kind of gets that decal to seal down on the nail better. And now we're going to top it with some hard, fast and hard top coat and seal it all in. 
I am absolutely in love with this one. I can't wait to hear you, what you guys think about this one. Gotta leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So here they are in motion. And here's my swatch photo. Like I said, leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.